I, I don't dare hope um, at this point. We're still very much in the first incubation period from when we started putting in these restrictive measures. So there are people out there who are incubating this disease. We know there's been transmission. So we are not going to see a dramatic change uh, for another five to six days. And then I'll, I'll maybe if, if we continue this way. But there are many things that can happen. We can have an outbreak in a small community. We can have a hospital outbreak. There is so many scenarios right now now um, that I, you know, I, we take it day by day. And I guess reinforces again, there are many things that we need everybody to do because this is the time where we can make a difference. And the, the social distance, the physical distancing is something that all of us have to take seriously right now because that is our best buffer. It's our fire break. It's our, our firewall so that we can put out all the little sparks that are happening in our community now based on what um, what occurred five, six, seven, eight, ten days ago. Um, we're able to do that better and we can um, try and control this in a way that is going to manage our ability to, to care for people both in the hospital um, with COVID-19 but everybody else who needs health care as well. And the only way we can do that is everybody committing to taking the, the physical distancing seriously and continuing to do that on a day-to-day -day basis right now.